Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Check it, check it, check it. It's unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing. Outstanding Official Miss Jamaica <laughs> All gone Man we do this so much right The intro had to come solid every time You know it's mesmerizing So We gotta do the same intro You done just took over my intro right there man Check it man Hey man we got two special special guests in here today Y'all they really don't need no introduction One of them frequent the show a lot This guy right here he is Like he's always on here But we got family on here today man mm -hmm. Project Barbie man And little Soldier Slims in the building What's going on What's up, bro? Man. What's poppin'? Say what you said when she wasn't on here. He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> say, tell her what you said. He's like, what did I say? I think she said, she gonna trip when she see this. I can't remember. He said something. She used to do something to me when I was little. Oh. So I told <laughs> you to me in the closet. That's what it is. He's like, she gonna trip Why would you do something like that? <laughs> oh, put this on. You gotta get this. I don't, um, she don't recall. I don't recall that. Don't plead the fifth. I think the you got to plead the fifth. <laughs> not the one, not the two, not the three, the four. Man, the thank y'all, man, so much for supporting us, man. Y'all family, man. Appreciate y'all, man. All the like time. I said, when we come, we just, we just come with, 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 with really open hearts, right? Like yes, we just sir. be chilling, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know, you he he been up to the store. I told him I got to bring you up there. Yeah, to to Dallas. To, to Dallas. Dallas. Da Dallas. Yeah, yeah, and I called you. I remember every time I called you. When I was in Chicago, I called you. Yeah. And yeah. when I when I was in Atlanta, I didn't. I said, "Man, let me call." And that's how I got you. She was like, "Nah, he man, he down there now. I think, I think you were staying down there at that time. Mm -hmm. I was but, living on Peter Street. But I just appreciate y'all, man. It's it's only God that opened these doors, bro. The you know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be happening like this if it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, um, like I said, we we definitely it's always in 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 honor and memory of your brother. And your dad, you know what I'm saying? Everybody in this city love your brother mm -hmm. and your dad. We've yes. been hearing this every we hear every so many interview, bro. Every time, so many. Stories. I'm serious. Like we can talk to anybody, even people that ain't down here. Talk about this dude, man. How and kind he was and loving for his community. Yes. Yeah. That's man. that's the picture that we always um mm -hmm. you always find interesting. Um, a lot of um times with rappers, they paint the the bad portrait um, but often the time a lot of people they don't get to still hear stories about their loved ones and the impact that they made on people's lives so right. um, we still get to hear those stories so that's always exciting to hear right yeah. Have yeah. You, do you still be hearing stories that you never heard before all the time all the time it's always a new story yeah. really and it's it, always and a new person more positive story. than you than you know right yeah, yeah it's, always the, yeah, it's always positive it's like always it's positive it's always positive it's funny oh man your dad to beat this person it'll never be that it'd be how he impacted them or how he got them to do something that was positive to help mm -hmm. them. Like somebody said to, to us the other day, like, man, if Tupac was still alive and Soldier Slim was still alive, imagine that collaboration between them two. Right. It would be crazy. I think they would be able to get all three of them on the track, right? Him, Biggie, and Tupac. And I mean, it, it would it would be a hard track, right? Mm -hmm. What? Well, even if it was just him snooping, Snoop, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Tupac. Yeah, yeah. It that would, would be, be a hard, hard. track. I, I think that's that's the whole game. I like like they always talk about uh, Snoop and how much he lo loved uh, you know uh, Soldier Slim, and I think that's hard, man. Like, cause he he you can tell when he speak about it, he genuine, man. When I you met know? Snoop, he really told me how my dad embraced him, other than anybody else at No Limit. You know what I'm saying? And how they really clicked. How he was one of the most authentic people that he met over there. Wow, that's the whole game. Like, I'm telling you. It had to be something special. Everybody not going to say the same thing about him. you. Right. And he let you smoke with him? Let me smoke with him. What would you, you say? Damn, I'm smoking with Snoop. Man, really, when my cousin <laughs> called me, like at this time it was during COVID. Um, it was right before COVID. Okay. In fact, um, my cousin called me like, where you at? You in the city? Because he knew at the time I used to stay at all the hotels on Canal Street. He yeah. do my yeah. thing out the hotels. Um, but he was like, man, Snoop right here at the film mode. You know what I'm saying? You want to meet you, my cousin Gateway, huh? He was like, you want to meet you? I was telling about you, you know, you come over here. Wow. They called me, and I had missed the show, but I still went over there, and yeah, it was love. Wow. I, I'm telling you, man, when we went to the place last night, H-O-B or whatever you, yeah, you called it, because I'm being real with you. I was like, I'm going in. I said, I got another dude coming. I said, little soldier, he coming. And he was like, 
Okay, no worries. I was like, give him this. You know, he's like, nah. He, he, y'all got a lot of love in this city, man. Yeah, well, people love. Yeah, him. they love. Man, him. It's, it's, I mean, Sharani you, you last so time she was like, yeah, she a like, girl. man, I, uh, man, Peach. Oh, I love her. Like, like, it's just a, it's amazing, bro. Mm -hmm. That even even Mac when I interviewed him, like. Everybody I interview, bro, they love y'all, man. And y'all got to embrace that for what it is, man. Right. That's how. That's the whole way of keeping uh, your brother's legacy alive is just embracing those things. You know, I tell you that all the time. But like, see, I, I hear a lot of stories about, like, even before it was the love for my pops, my grandma had that love already. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hard. That's hard. Yeah. So yeah, she, you got to be a long line of good people. Yeah. So it's just being good people. Like, it's not, we don't think we better than anybody else we still your typical people who have to do maybe go to work or just you know work for what we want so we still just good people so it's it's embedded in you like if you good people you good people um you don't change up but be hollywood like you know some people a small bit of any tiny little affliction or you know big stream would make them change up but i mean we still the same old people this is us every day yeah we good two people so they good to us Sometimes, sometimes, but <laughs> we good to people, so you know they good to us. Sometimes, I think I seen you on a picture uh, where you was at Peaches. I think I think you was at Peaches. I, you might not have been, but you, Kevin Gates. You seen? I yeah. seen you talking to Kevin Gates or something. Yeah, uh, was that I think at Peaches? it was. A, yeah, at Peaches. He had a, a meet and greet at Peaches. I just seen seem like y'all. You you like what's up? You know, I was like that's hard right there. <laughs> I just love I love to see the real. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta look at her old videos. <laughs> Oh yeah! <laughs> Look, I'm like, why did he break him up? That's crazy. <laughs> no, because I see you with him. Kevin Gates cool. Oh Kevin what? Y'all tripping? Kevin Gates been sweet on my auntie a long time. For real? <laughs> wow! I didn't even know that. Look, I'm I'm like, just, why he brought him up? Because <laughs> I seen you on the picture, and I seen you, you know, like kind of like like what's up? You know, y'all was just talking. You know, that's hard. He he's you got to realize that's Louisiana. So when you from Texas and you come to Louisiana, you think about the Louisiana stuff that was happening. So that was on your page. Yeah. yeah. And I watch you because me and you follow each other now. So I'm mm -hmm. like, damn, what is Kevin doing down there? You, <laughs> you acting all funny. You know what I'm talking <laughs> <laughs> So how do you know Kevin since you go take I, I just know Kevin like everybody else. Through music and through, you know, the industry. Already, man. Through so the industry. Do you, do you, do you uh, um, yeah, but Steph, you should have been in here. You missed it. What? You done ate this alive. What? I said Kevin Gates. I seen you Kevin Gates. They went to tripping. <laughs> I don't know what was going we, on we with that. We went to tripping? Well, oh, you, no. like, you should see some of my any old pictures. I'm like, Kevin cool. I'm like, what's going on, man? <laughs> she started laughing like crazy. Yeah, because you saw that picture of Peaches right? <laughs> see so what I'm saying? We seen with that. With Kevin. How is he? <laughs> I don't see how she did that. <laughs> You said, how know. is he? Yeah, like, is he a dope person? Yeah. Cool, I down mean, to I earth? I looked up with him probably, like, a month ago. You did? He gave me his new number. I'm like, yeah, get at me. Gave me a hug, really embraced me. You know, it's it always been genuine. like that. Yeah. But my first time meeting Kevin Gates, he ain't greet me like that. He wasn't even looking at me. He was worried about her. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. No. Wow, but that's, no. just, that's growing up, you know, probably because of, you know, you know what I'm saying? You're beautiful. Why ain't she beautiful? Why ain't she beautiful? Yeah. yeah All she types is. of niggas be coming at me <laughs> telling me, yo, yo, ain't she. You like, what? <laughs> you get like, it from every corner. Man. I, I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> she's she just being herself. This me. Wow. So when you, when you just. When you think about the music and stuff, though, that comes out of these areas, man, you guys got the most phenomenal sound, the bounce music, or whether it be, you know, what's that other one that they do? The the one, it's a music in, that Bourbon Street is known. Oh, brass. Yeah. Brass yeah, and yeah. jazz music. Yeah, like, yeah. like so, um, like, like, when do, when are you going to, do you, you, you have that song? Do you think you have it? There was a staple song. I'm talking about her, because I'll get to you in a minute. Um, Not just yet, but I think, um, I'm in the mixes and matches of putting sounds together to to possibly have that by, you know, the middle of this year, by the summer. So I just think the new music that I'm pushing out is me. You know what I'm saying? I don't care to cater to any crowd of people. It's just what I want here. Yeah. And if you like me, then you're going to like it. You know, because wow. I like it. I play it in a car. I might play it three times back to back. So that's how I know it's cold, cold. So if you like me and you like good music, and I know a song when it's a hit song, so 
you know, they gonna like it. You know when it's a hit? I know it. Like, I tell people, and then next thing you know, that's the song that the artist picked to play on the radio wow. all the time. Man, so what, what, what do you think about your about your nephew's music? I think it's I think it's elevating to a new sound, and that's dope because so often a lot of artists don't grow, you know, and they stay in that same position. But to have your music grow and to really mature, and you know what you want and what sound you want, I think as an artist, that's what everybody strive for. Like wow. to know your sound and to be able to pull your sound apart, and when people hear it, they be like, "Oh, I know who that is." Yeah. Do you think you do you think your brother would be proud of the what he what he see and what you guys are, are delivering as far as the music? I think so. I think the music is good. I yeah. mean, good music. Everybody loves good music, right? So good music makes you feel a great way. So I think he would like it. I think he would enjoy it. Now maybe some things he might change about it, but <laughs> I just <laughs> I just feel like it, he would like it. Yeah, yeah. I think he'd be proud too because you know just to see somebody because most of the time. And, and I'm being real with you. Your kids never want to do what you're doing like mm, that. Never, never. They don't think you're cool at all. So I know it's a big deal for you to even take on that task to say, I'm a rock with this music thing. You know But you got to understand, like, the only person really know this is her. I ain't, I, I got into music because I had a different path of it on my own. You feel me? It was yeah. other people that I looked up to that I wanted to, you know what I'm saying? Go the route they went to. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. You know, uh, you you something else. When I look at you, I just think about he told a story. Now, you told that story on Beehive about Lil Wayne. When you told it on Boss Talk, that thing went crazy. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't it? Be but, but check it out. I be looking at the comments. And I didn't put I didn't put down on Lil Wayne. You hear me? No, you didn't. No, you, you know didn't. What I'm saying? I ain't put down you on did. So you was respectful. My whole thing. Yeah, I don't make people. I don't be trying to. You know what I'm saying? No, you was respectful because we all human. And you told and you told us the right side of it. A lot of people commended yeah. you for that though yeah. too in the comment. Mm -hmm. that's, that's just how stand up you was. But I was just telling you how crazy it went. Yeah, that did go crazy. Because <laughs> because I know it's a I don't know why, but it's just like I don't know. I be having fun messing with y'all. <laughs> And, and I think the people out. be yeah, tripping off out. of it. Like, yeah, people, um, the comments are a brutal place. They are brutal. Um, they are a brutal Man. place. Um, I tend to try to stay out of them because they are a brutal place. Like, they, they people nowadays, they make the weirdest thing is making a fake page. Go find your fake pictures. I get the amount of work. It's just <laughs> crazy. Goes in the hay, right? Yeah, like it's it's a lot of for free. And you can tell that it that, that it's some work going into cause just be one person mm -hmm. and they just made the page yesterday. Yeah, like yeah. it's like new. Like yeah. what's going on? You just what's up? Just to come on here to terrorize. Just to come to something. Because you have crazy. the people who will come who will create a page too because say they like you create a page and put all your pictures on there and put your name on there and call it something else. Yeah, the the, the weird yeah. crazy people. Like, and I'm like, you're not Miss Jamaica no more. At this point, you're Miss Africa. Like, it's something. crazy. <laughs> no, and I'm telling you, all your, pictures. your interview last time, you, you when you teared up, they a yeah. lot of people, they felt that. A lot yeah. of people think, ah, oh, whatever it's been. I'm like, what the hell? These comments stupid, bro. Like, yeah, you, you can't, can't, you, you you can't, can't. watch them like that. <laughs> you can't. I think it'd be like people that be like assault. laying on like like a little pattern in their grandma basement with like some like some old Chick-fil-A and stuff like, yeah. <laughs> with like dirty clothes around. I'm like, that's how I always feel because it's like the amount of time you can't have a job. You can't be paying attention to your kids. That's a lot of work. They like mm -hmm. stand on an uh, Eminem song. You remember? Yeah, Eminem? like that's like, what that's, it is. <laughs> Honestly, Being somebody bro, else is crazy. It's a lot of work. I done had that experience. Really? Man, yeah, they had this dude, and he really was just a, a cutthroat committed fan. And he was like, dog, you holding it down. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really, yeah, everything, whatever it could be, you that. You know what I'm saying? He just really just took to me, and honestly, like, he was writing me so much, I, I decided to respond. I sent him some gear, and I don't know what I did that for. He dude, was just crazy. turned up. Dude used to call my phone. At least like five times a day. Mm -hmm. And That's when I didn't answer, he yeah. cursed me out. Yeah, they did. Man, different. you a bitch ass nigga. I thought you was a real nigga. You, uh, I'm like, dog, I don't even know you. <laughs> yeah, you went from somewhere else. That's what they did to Miss yeah. Ju with me and Miss Jamaica. This dude, could, and you could tell he was special. Oh, you know, yeah, like, you that's what you do. Yeah, you gotta say they're a little touch now, dude. Yeah. You can't, you oh, can't really? say special. Really? Yeah, you just gotta I'm say so they're a little touch. No, yeah. be like, he, you could tell he was a little touched. Yeah, they like, changed. He, like, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, can you? Can I? He was like, man, I love boss talking. You could tell he started off real good. 
Then That's he kept asking, on. let me talk to you, uh, Mr. Jamaica. Mr. Jamaica. Let me tell you, yeah, he started tripping. Like, I'm like, this nigga tripping, man. I hate that because I, I be wanting genuine people. You can't exactly. do it. Exactly. I think everybody who's on the path that we're all on in this room, I think you're going to run into that. That's why I just keep it, like, a lot of people like, you real mean. I'm like, I'm not, but you can't go too far because they got people who really are really, really crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, they really look for that little void. Yeah. You know, you trying to be nice because we all just feel like we are normal people. So we try to treat people, but they got some people. They ain't trying to hear that. They are a little touched. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, some people make it a career. Yeah, some people make it a career. They might not even feel the way like say you say ABC and the correct answer is you know EFG or whatever but and they know that in their head mm -hmm. but they're going to say ZYX purposely, purposely just, just to, to get on your you nerves to yep. see what you the say the trolls no that's it the trolls the trolls they call them they 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 are there to be opposition to you yeah opposition. but it be fun though when i be looking through people's comments and hear, and just reading some of it it makes me laugh because i'm like Really? The time. Yeah, it's just craziness. It's like somebody funny. popped in my live yesterday and was like, hey, is that a cold sore on your lip? And I'm like, um, no, but if it was, what about it? <laughs> like, what? They what we going there with? They're looking that hard. They, they, like, <laughs> I, you couldn't see. say, hey, your hair is nice or Nothing. your eyes are beautiful. You know, you look nice today. So you had to pick out that one thing that you to pick. try to cause a flaw. And I'm that's like. That's crazy. Because they want everybody has to be commenting to, underneath it. And that's really what it but, is. Yeah, the that's trolls. That's crazy. That's Trolling is a thing. crazy thing. I'm going to shift gears on y'all. I, I was very, uh, when I seen the uh, documentary, I love the doc documentary uh, from an outside perspective. How did you, and I'm a, I ask it, her, because me and you already talked a little bit, but how did you feel about the documentary and how it uh, portrayed turned your brother and turned out? So I didn't particularly watch it. Um, I've never seen it. Um, as of today, I have no interest in seeing it. Really? Um, I just, I just, for me, I feel like it's, it's, a, a, it's a form of betrayal um, for me, you don't seek out people who people have said harmed them in any way or any form or fashion. You didn't do it for any of the other people. You didn't go get NBA Young Boy for King Vaughn. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? I like get you didn't it. I get go it. get Lil Tim for I him. I get it. Um, so you know to go, I just didn't care for that. Um, but I mean that's a part of. It's a part of literature. It's a part of journalism. Yeah. You have to get all sides of the story for it to be equal. Exactly. Um, so, you know, that's cool. Um, I didn't particularly care for some of the people who were added on to the, the roster. The roster. Um, Money Mike Willis, don't know my brother. You from way on the West Bank. Um, the Fat Fat and all that guy. You wasn't even during that time. Um, it's just, I just felt like the people that they, the, a lot of the people that they chose were great candidates, um, but I just felt like some people, they could have replaced them with other people. Yeah. Um, who like, who told, did you wish was on there? I wish they would have got Mac. Um, I wish Mac really? would have been on there. Um, I wish people like Snoop Dogg, who could, you know, really paint right. that time frame. Snoop was on there, but it was just very, very yeah, yeah, clips slim of what, clip. yeah. Very cool, slim clip. He didn't um, talk distinctly, you know, to About sleep. him, yeah. yeah. Like, people about who sleep. really, like, you know, like, when BG come out, like, people who have an authentic relationship and grown with him during his time as an entrepreneur. Um, I didn't really care too much f about the No Limit time frame because I don't think at that point he was um, really, he was a great artist, but he was really a phenomenal artist when he went into his own um, path yeah, on music. That's what I was and gonna say. Yeah, you gonna yeah, say the same thing? I, I think that should have been capitalized more, and that's what we really, so it really upset me because I pushed hard for my family um, to participate in that because I really wanted people, and it really still stood because I wanted people, I asked of them, that we let people know who he was, that people could see what he looked like, his face. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know what he looked like. Correct. A lot of people don't know what he's, who he was besides that name of that day. I didn't know the face to add to that. So yeah. that was my whole thing when I went to my family for them to participate in this because it was no from the beginning with them. Wow. Mm. 
Um, so that was my whole thing for it. And I mean, like I said, it did work for that. But when, you know, you got to, when it two people come into it, and that's what we knew from the beginning, um, when it was that Mona Scott and that 50 Cent, that some mess would pursue, pursue with it because that's the whole Monica. So when the whole them. thing was put together <coughs> before it was released, did y'all see the whole thing in the documentary before it no, came out? Sure we we seen it when y'all seen it. Yeah, like, we, so we nah, had for real? no yeah, idea. We, we had no idea what it looked like. We had no idea. So when he pops up on That's the TV crazy. screen, it's like, what the hell is this? So no call, no nothing. No nothing. No no type of, you know, how would y'all feel? Now, they came to us to ask us who we would want to participate. Yeah. And we gave them a list of people. Um, but they added more. I'm somewhere oh, along the line. Off. Somewhere along the line, it seems like some type of a production switch up to me, and it seems like certain people put their hand into production, and when that happened, certain people got dropped off because, from my understanding, it was an interview with Mac. Yeah, it was. That's that's what was told to me from that side. It was an interview that was with Mac, so how Mac didn't end didn't up on end it. Up on that. Um, so crazy. I think. I think it, it, uh, a switch somewhere came, which is fine because if I've always, I've told everybody, I feel like if you can't beat it, beat them, they got to join you. Gotta you got to come on his story. You know, you got to come and tell your side of the story on his story to make you seem like a parent or make you seem like, you know, such a great guy. I mean, you paint my family as a drug user but it seemed like drugs is a problem in your family versus my family. Yeah, I think. So I want. So um, I know your mom has she watched it. <laughs> my mom does. My mom likes it. So my mom oh, does did? like okay. it. Um, outside of the part with him, but she already she told me the day before that she felt like they were going to go and get him, and I was like, no. Honestly, she she told us that when we was trying to get her on it, she was hitting us with these questions because you know how people live. You know what I'm saying? Like, this, this was the conversation that she had with us. Do you think that Van Latham did a good job, or do you think that... I think he did a great job. I think Van did a good job. I think the show was a great show. It was a show. good show, yeah. But it was just some of the way that it, it was, was just produced. Messy. It was it, messy. It, it, it wasn't it, it, messy. When it spent to messy. It, it was, but, I, like, all right, me and my auntie had a conversation before our episode even came out, you know? And we was talking about the message stuff in other people's episodes. Wow. You know? So you knew you seen it kind of coming. She told me, she was like, I'm not even going to watch it because I already see where it's going. Oh, yeah. From That's the Magnolia Shorty it. episode. Yeah. Um, from the Magnolia Shorty episode, I knew where they were going to be headed. Um, even when they did the interviews and the very first question that they asked me was about the video that I made about him. And I'm like, well, what does that have to do with this moment, you know what I'm saying? I, but you know, it 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 is what it is, you know. And when it come to it, it's all about the media and That's what you bring what, to the media. Yeah. So if they gonna play the game, we could play the same game that they gonna play. Exactly. But I, like when I seen it, I didn't even, and I told you that, I was like, I didn't even know nothing about that. Like when I interviewed you, Think about That's that. That's why we didn't well, ask you about you, that. I didn't know nothing about that. I didn't care. I just that cared about your way brother. Before we way interviewed, being yeah. real. right? So when I came to interview you, so, think about that for a minute. We didn't even we looked we up. Never we asked. never looked. I talked to you because I seen you with Kale. Yeah, to be honest right. With you, and when I talked to you, it was like, man, I just got to meet her because I seen I had seen that Beehive episode. I mm. said, man, I should be. I got to interview her because I know we interview different. So I knew it would be. Home field. I don't know. It's, it, I can't explain it. I know we're not the same as everybody else. I'm telling you that. So we knew it was going to be different. But when I interviewed you, it was more to get to know you. Right. Get to know your brother. Now, I was going to ask about the time when all that happened, but in a way that it came from your perspective. Right. And I think that's where you, what you're saying, too. Like, when I looked at that, I really just, and I usually don't give my opinion. I usually try to stay neutral. Neutral. But I thought about the way they projected you. Mm -hmm. I'm being real. Yeah. So I, they spent it to make it like I was psychotic um, <clears throat> and that I was throwing around claims. But we're going to debunk this claim at all costs um, by bringing the opposition in. Right? Mm -hmm. So that's what you spent it off. And it's like, look, we was way past 
you know, that whole situation. Like, that was in 2020, I believe. Oh, so yeah. we was way yeah, past that. that. Like, we didn't grow from that. We didn't pick up other things. I got a child. I got, you know what I'm saying? So we're not going back down that route. But for them to bring it back to that place um, and from the comments, when I did read some of the comments on Twitter, and um, that's how I knew that they spent it the way that they spent it. I never seen a show, like I said, but the Twitter. And it was like, wow, Soldier Slim's sister must be crazy. She trying to say that he, this man killed him, da 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 da. And I'm like, wait, this what they put on the show? Yeah. 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 I'm like, wait, so they put this on the show? And I'm like, wow, that's, you know what I'm saying? And then that's when they told me that he was on the show. And I'm like, wow, so it's kind of like you trying to pair me, you know, against a music mogul. Yeah. Just little old me yeah. from New Orleans. In my opinion, that's what they use. The yeah, like it's always, but that's that's a black. That's yeah, yeah, that's it. But you going to pay a black woman. They got 50,000 black men on this series that you didn't pull. Yeah. And now none of them, you didn't go get. Now none of them, you got King Vaughn's sister telling you that young boy was a hater. You ain't go get him. But you put me, black woman, against a music mogul man. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's what they talking about when they tell people every day how these people work. They how they work this world. Yeah. Like they gonna pair the, they gonna pair a black woman against a black man, and they yeah. gonna you you, you gonna right. pair me against I'm just me. But yeah, I'm gonna still till the end of the time. I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say. If they don't like yeah. it, then I mean, yeah. it is what you got. You gotta take that up. With how do you think? And I don't go back to this. And I ask you that. How do you think your brother would feel about? The way you handling yourself, and the way you, you know what I mean? The way you dealing with business. I'm powerful. He wants you to stand strong. I'm, I'm, I'm strong. If it has to be done, I'm going to make sure that it's done. If it's going to make them be less a, of a person, then I'm going to keep doing it. Because it, it's never going away. When I'm done with it, then I got a daughter. And when she done with it, he got children. So it's never done. It's just going to keep on going. Because your brother was never a person to hold his tongue. Correct. Never. So that's why when people asked about him being on drugs, like we didn't have to go back and forth with them about that because yeah. they'd listen to the music. He, he, he explained and that. It was explained. Up, he was yeah. on drugs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. at, at a time of his death, he wasn't nowhere near drugs. Wow. You feel what I'm saying? They didn't find that nowhere in the system. No. My brother did all smoke weed. weed on him? He, he, yeah. was, he was a heavy smoker. Just like me. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we, heavy, we smoke weed. We, you know, Shout smoke weed. Shout out to Snoop Dogg. Yeah. <laughs> no, definitely. Shout like, out to Snoop Dogg. But then no drugs. Yeah, drugs. no drugs. No, yeah. when he was 16, he had a heroin problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, he went to jail for a while. So, of course, when you're in jail for that time, you're not doing drugs. So, he was able to binge it um, and came back out and didn't do drugs. So during the time of No Limit, it was never any drugs that my brother did, but weed. Right, wow. So to, you know, to paint that picture and then get on TV and tell that about somebody else's child, that's, that's crazy. But, you know, this is the people that we think are great people. Yeah. You know, that's somebody's child. But and you then, know, but I, I can say this, you. Obviously, ain't nothing too great about them if they cho if they own children you're going against them. Yeah, on the internet. Internet. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, no, that's real. Like you can everybody, see everybody. You know. Yeah, you can see everybody got problems, but I think when a person reaches a certain level of success, people feel like they are infallible. Like they feel like it's no error of wrong that they can do. When in in reality. It's their family that's suffering the most. Mm -hmm. You know, we see one side of them. We see them as this great grand person. But behind closed doors, you know, your child is online begging for people just to sit down with them and just give them a hug. So I don't have no hatred towards them. I just wish as a family they could all come together because when a family is at war, nobody wins. Let me ask you this. True. Do but you I think, think hip-hop homicide is a... Um, is this a show that you you think it's a show that's needed? You know, Fifty Cent no one put this out. Do you think it's something that's that helps, or do you think it's just because is it is it? Are you finding closure in the show? I think it's just great entertainment. Right. So it's not nothing for closure. It, it's, it's to entertain. It, it don't have nothing to do with helping yeah. us. It's because it seems as if they feel, just, it's to line somebody else's pockets. Yeah. Yeah, because they're saying that they're trying to figure or solve something. Nah. No. That's Think just, about it. Am I right though? That's why they come on. But I no. You have fiction books. Yeah. You know, you have books that be based off a true story that they add they little wudu wudu watu. 
Okay. No, you gotta look at it like that. That's our TV. Yeah. I think if somebody think else it, did it, I think it would be great. Like I think when TV One does it, like the one that Monica hosts, and they go deep into it, and like the families, and like they don't go on the mess side. Like they stick to the stories. Like it's more on the crime side. Um, I think if they did it that way and leave the mess out of it, like people, families are already going through enough. You making them relive these moments wow, and man. then you taking it and putting a messy spin on it. That's wow. crazy. That is a painful thing. Wow. Who wants to turn on the TV and hear that they son is a, is a rockhead? That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Who wants to turn on the TV and hear that their daughter was cheating on their husband? Like that's not something that people want to hear about from on TV, not on national TV, that's embarrassing. And then everybody, the whole world is seeing it too. And everybody in the whole world is seeing it. And then you gotta think about it. But it's good and bad about the whole world seeing it because some people will pick through that to go research the person and, and check out their and music see, and, and fall in love thing. with the person. That's so my has, thing. It's good I and bad. I feel like him getting on there, you just set yourself up for the kill because what it's really gonna make people do is go in that search bar and type in that, and they gonna go down the rabbit People hole. People who never knew. Who never knew anything about that. Had they never put you on this show and said, put me and try to put you against me like they've been doing, they would never know nothing about this. Cause I'm just small time, mm -hmm. apparently. Um, and now, they wouldn't know none of that. But now they gonna go down a rabbit hole because that's what people do. They go from one YouTube video to the next YouTube video to the next YouTube video following things that are completely untrue. But they love to follow it because that is how the world works now. But well, earlier when you were talking about, you know, um, people of success, they act like they don't do anything wrong and so forth. When I think about that, because I'm always the optimist, I, I think on the other spectrum, I think about, okay, when you do something wrong, the whole world don't have to hear about it. It's just Correct. your immediate family, whatever. But make somebody of a celebrity status, a mogul do something wrong, it gets out there and everybody sees it. You know what I mean? So I think that's one of the main reasons why they keep certain things such a hush-hush mm -hmm. because it's more of an, a large magnitude, even if it's something small or something, you know? Right, they're they going to turn it up. into a big thing. Right. So I think that's the reason why. That's in my head when I hear when, what y'all talking when, about. When Van looks at this and he knows how this is portraying certain individuals, do you think that that's where you, your character well, comes in? for him, you know what I, I mean? Feel like it's a job. It's, it's a, a job. job. Yeah, it don't have right. nothing to do with yeah. him personally. So he's just basically getting his money. He's just getting his money. Yeah, it's not against nobody personally. Yeah. It's just it's everything has room for improvement. And it's not, like, yeah, like it. it's not, we hate the show, but I just want them to think of it from the people's side, perspective. the people's perspective. Once they leave your house, it's not the people's perspective anymore. It's their perspective. Mm -hmm. wow. It's a journalist's perspective. And sometimes journalists lack that integrity. Yeah. So when you're dealing with people who are mourning or grieving or lose people, you can't treat them the same way you would treat a loving hip hop crowd. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't treat them the same way you would treat a a married from jail show. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. different. It's a different way that you have to grasp that because people, especially black people, are dealing with trauma in from all day different day. types of ways. It was so it was if time. You had to, go ahead. Sorry, if you had to go back over when they first approached you, what would you have done differently to make sure that you would have gotten the outcome? Because the only thing I keep thinking about is getting certain things written in paper that if we do this, this is what needs to be. And that's exactly what we would do. If, if we could redo it, I would have told them that, hey, if this person is going to be a part of it, we're not doing it. That's hard. I actually would have told them to let us control our own narrative on it. Correct. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you know, once it comes out, and you see how they, because you didn't know. Let they hadn't brought an episode timeline. out yet when y'all did it, right? No. The so show wasn't. No, the show wasn't even no. out yet. Oh, okay. So you got to realize they going into never a blind seen, place never, where, yeah, where we a, don't know. It's the first but, season. Like, this is it, the first season. Um, the picture that they paint is that, you know, they going into these people telling these stories about how great they were as artists. Wow. Um, really, they impact on the community, blah, blah, blah. They never tell you that, you know, they're going to flip it. But it was always speculated when the two names came up that yeah. these of people got something else going on. Of yeah. course they yeah. don't do that. But, yeah. you know, I had a little integrity in them. But my mama always said, 
<laughs> What'd she say? She she my mama nobody. always said, she, she said, was yeah. like, you can't Why trust them. They trying trying to trust <laughs> nobody. <laughs> she, she was like, you can't trust them. Them people, they playing some type of game. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's games in the industry that mm-hmm. we in. It's full of games. That's what it is, you know? Um, she used to tell us this growing up when we was just trying to get into it. You know what I'm saying? My auntie used to dance. You feel me? But I ain't, I had not never looked at a microphone. You know, I had wrote a couple of raps, but she always told us this. Study whatever you're getting into. See how the people can't beat you. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all. something she instilled in us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, to me, when I looked at her part, they they didn't, they portrayed her right. They didn't, yeah, they did her they right. They did her right. But, they did her right. But, but for you, my honest opinion, is it's like they were reaching. Reaching. Yeah. I'm being real. What you think? They needed mm-hmm. that part to spin a to different make it narrative. Yeah. For some yeah. people to exactly. watch. Yeah. That, they needed that really part to spin was. a narrative. Like, even if it was, it couldn't just be how great of a person he was. You had to have that other side too. So I get it. I mean, when it comes to TV, I mean, that's what they do. That's Hollywood for, you, for a fact. If you had it to, if you was able to say this get to be put out or it don't get to be put out at the point when it was being put out and you got to see it, it wouldn't have never came out with it. Oh, I'd have let him. We would have just made two cuts. Yeah, I'd, I'd have let him. You let him let him put it out like I, that? It don't matter. It's because it's, this, this story from that day till the time before that, when I was on the internet and I went viral, I, my story has never changed. It's remaining the same. Wow. I would think that this would motivate you more to say, let's do a movie and let us do this. That was the first thing we did. This. Yeah. That was the first so thing we his said. true story. That was out. the very first thing. We was like, you know what? We're not dealing with people anymore. We're yeah, going we're to get together ourselves. and we're going to put that's hard. That's, his that's true story point, out. Actually, to come up well, I, lately I've been putting together a budget, trying to pull budgets together to come up with a movie for that. That's what, and... It, only me and her could do it. Yeah. No. Who would you have play his part? I got a cousin. His name Brian. That's who you would have do it. Yeah. He resemble him. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna show you a, a lot. picture of him. <laughs> a whole lot. How, you a like is he your, is he your so, he, How's he your cousin? That's that's my grandma's sister's son. That's oh, my that's daddy's hard. first cousin. Yeah. My auntie's first cousin. You need to put him in some acting classes. He rap though. He yeah, rap. he rap. He's a yeah. rapper. He's a rapper. He, as well. he already a good actor. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He don't even look. He don't need the class. He was oh, born yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. He could do it. He could do it. I got to rock with him. You but gotta, you yeah. just look at him. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like this, this is, you know. Yeah, just yeah. tell a real story. And I think we just want to really focus it on, like, I was very upset and I was like to paint him as a drug head. Then I was like, you know what? People know the difference and I didn't have to really fuss too much. People knew the difference because they yeah. listened to the music. And I'm like, then you just think about the things like in that in his last years of life, he was an entrepreneur. He was yeah. boss. You can't he, be he having no a drug thing. problem and be exactly. a, and, and be an entrepreneur. You getting putting all these people on. You doing these shows. You doing all this. You know, you'd be losing money. You'd be, you'd losing, be losing. You know what money. I'm saying? You can't deal you with nothing. You can't yeah. do it. Like, to, and so he successfully did it. Like a whole album. Wow. Years later, the very first cut of years later, he put that out on his own. Oh, no cotton records, no none of that. That's his album, Posters solely his. Yeah. Wow. One thing your mama said that really just stuck to me. She's like, if you want to know any, I, I shouldn't have to tell you anything about my son. Anything you want to know about it's my in the music. son is in the music. Is in the music. Is in the music. That's what we do it for. Is in the music. Wow. And, and and that's that that at that point, I think I was on live and I was upset and and somebody said. Man, I listened to a song the other day where Slim said, I've been clean for seven years. Exactly. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, because I, that's and, how he gave his game. Yeah. He'll tell you what he been through and how he got through it and how it's taken, how he going through life now. Let me ask you this now. In a way, and you can tell me, like when you did that video that they put on there years ago, what brought you to that place? Just... The you see fakeness. what I'm saying? Like what? Like brought, the cause I could, something cause was something that surfaced at that time. Person, right. yeah, from a person that, that, that love you, like time. a person who rock with you, like me. It was and a, seeing that, I'm like, that ain't who I met. Her, you know right. what I'm saying? I'm being real. Somebody must have pissed her off. No, Somebody I'm pissed her off. It was the C murder stuff. Remember the C murder stuff? It was when he was like going in about C murder. Yeah, it was the C murder stuff. That's when. They, they had just put out an episode, um, some about No Limit. Yeah. Yeah. And oh. then, yeah. So people were popping up at the house often. Really? Yeah. People were popping up at the house often. Like they'd be getting off a bus. Um, they were doing tours at the house all the time because of the small synopsis that they put in that little 
show that the man yeah. had. Yeah. Wow. And like they wouldn't really cover him on the show because they didn't want to give him too much fame. Yeah, they didn't want people to really know who he was. They did like a but small, they still small. Because if you say that they're popping up at the house, they so what still they knew. did was when they said that small part, people just went to look. They went to looking. They wanted mm-hmm. to know more about because they didn't elaborate on who he was in the at the at his time in that label. Yeah. The people wanted to know more, so they was on the internet going search and find these things and popping up at and the house. And they also doing had questions about why he wasn't covered as much if he was one of the biggest artists to ever come from No Limit. Wow. Man, nope. that would have been so dope if y'all could have recorded each and every person who was popping well, we, up um, at the house. We put it on a, we put it online. Like we I put it we oh, take so you a picture did, with Rick? Yeah. Every time they come we um take pictures with them. No, we, but I'm talking like recorded like and ask them questions and just to hear them actually say that stuff that you just said. Yeah, no, my mama usually she just they pull them <laughs> on the side. Like for me, I just usually be might be going in and out. And they, they'll catch me, but my mom usually asks them where they be from. Like, so one group was from um, Miami. And when we went to Miami, they bought her so much stuff. They can't roll the hour to see her in when we went out to Miami Damn. this year. Because um, you told me about, about Florida. <laughs> That's Florida. Yeah, Florida, Florida is like us. from the crazy. top to the bottom. Oh my God, like Broward County, Fall, man, it's, it's crazy. Duval County. Duval. They got a gang called Cutthroat, and yeah. they say on tap. Yeah, I'm about to say, say they, they, they say got on, a tap they, band. They, yeah. Like, they really, Florida really, really, really loves him. Like, they like, really part of our whole family at this point. But see, people don't understand what, and the reason I asked you that question about that earlier, because people don't understand what put you to a point. You know, something, you don't just yeah. get up and do something. Yeah, it was that. The way, but if you see it on a show like they did, oh, then yeah. it just make you look a certain way. But, but you got to understand Project Barbie didn't just get up and do this. It was things that stemmed. And then if people come in and that. And then that, it wasn't so much things that stemmed. It was like a clip. And these people modified it to that point. Like, you got to realize that, too. Like, this was a whole, like, hour live. And they took it and clipped that part and so, sold it to World Star. Damn. Yeah. And when I woke up the next damn day, it was like my whole timeline. I couldn't get online for like a whole week. It was like my everywhere I went. See what I'm saying? Like everywhere I went. Like people didn't want me to go outside by myself or anything. I'm like, it's not that deep. Like it was it was like the internet is a wild place. But honestly, wow. that's what that's what's hard. It was it was that deep because just my B being the man of my family in the streets. It's always a, you know, what I'm saying Protective. a certain serve pr- protection you want to put on your family, yeah. like, and that's what it really was for me, just being outside trying to figure out what was gonna come from it. Yeah, that's what I was wondering because when I watched a documentary and there was two guys who was interviewed and when asked certain questions, he was like, "Is a certain things, you know, well, if talk you, about that. you don't talk about that, don't talk about that." But then whenever you were so outspoken and in, in voice and certain things that people are scared to say, and I'm like, "But nothing happened." I'm like, "Is it because you're a female or because of who you are, or yeah, you know?" It's probably because I'm a female or. You know, sometimes people don't trust word of women because they feel like women are irrational. Yeah. I mean, it could be Emotional many, and all of that. yeah, it could be many different things um, that they don't feel. But behind closed doors, they gonna come to me and be like, "Yeah, you just saying what well, we all been known for years." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like they say, it's street words too, it's street laws too. You know, I totally get it. I wouldn't, you know, put myself at this point with a child in the same place that I did in 2020. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you know, things are different. But, I mean, the way I feel about the one that I love, like, you can't tell me nothing about the one that I love. And I try yeah. to tell people that all the time. Like, and it I don't got, matter what you say. I got another question. So, just like how you felt at first when you first said that, and you felt a sense of security, like, you know, you stay, stay at home and so forth. Since all of this resurfaced, it's almost like it's bringing it back up fresh again. Mm-hmm. Do you feel... Have people been telling you the same thing again? Like, you know, stay inside? No, because no, at this point, I mean, it's on TV now. So, I mean, first person <laughs> they tap and there's you. Like, what you mean? Like, it's like, at this point, if it's, I mean. Did people start, look like, like, getting in your comments and did the views? Oh, that's, that's I'm always, talking about like, because grown after ass the doc- men. After the doc- yeah, yeah, grown sense. ass men, like, grown, grown ass men, like, well, I'm surprised you're still alive. Like, what you mean you're surprised I'm still alive? I'm still alive for what? Like, 
I'm, I'm, I'm here to be hard on y'all, man. I, I'm, I don't like that, bro. I don't mm -hmm. like that at all. It, that's it hurts, crazy, but you know it hurts, saying? but it's. It, I mean, but it's I know trolls. you. You in a in a whole different mode. You <laughs> always, <laughs> he always in a whole mode. He real protective over y'all, and I can tell. And you know, he he always tell me whatever my any rocking with, I'm rocking with. You know, and and that's real. But it's just sad that people are so so immature, man. I think they just you know don't saying? know how to it really take to us. Yeah. Um. Because for years they've shunned us or swept us under the rug, under the like, rug. and now Push we have a back. voice. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's like, you can't silence my voice. You can't take from my voice. We hear now. They know our story now. Now you gotta see us a lot. I went to an event. It was the Louisiana Fest. Okay. And the looks on their face to see me in this spot where they at, it was like, who the f let this bitch in here? Wow. Right, we belong here. We That's belong awesome. here more than y'all belong here. And I, I get that a lot. You do? But see, with me, it'd be more of, I kind of see fear. I'm, I'm in a different, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of people know me. They heard things, you know what I'm saying? I, I know a lot of people that a lot of, we, we run in the same circles. Yeah. Yeah. And I, 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 I commend you, man. I, I pray for you, to be honest with you. I appreciate that. I, I mean, that. because I just, like I said, I really, I, I come from a different place where I really want to see, you know, I want to see everybody win, man. Yeah, and that's what it's really you about. Like, it's no, you know, some people seem feel like they have to pick a side. Yeah, and I'm gonna say this right now: it's no side. Ain't no side. Mm -hmm. It's no it's, side. It's right it's, and wrong. It's, it's just right or wrong. That's it. It's no side. We don't want you to have to feel like you when you with us. You gotta no. It's no particular side. You choose where you want to land, but wherever you land, make sure stay you there. stay over stay there. there. <laughs> Oh, like wherever yeah. you want land, yeah. make sure you stay over there because over here we're authentic and we got one cause. And if you blocking that cause, we got to move you out our way. And that's just what it is. Wow, I I can't ask you that. It's certain things I won't ask. You know what I mean? Because I don't even want to put it out there like that. Yeah, um, I just well, I skip I just, over a lot. Yeah, yeah. Because I just don't. It, it ain't. It goes without saying. You know, you you miss your brother. You know what I'm All saying? All the time. And All the I know time. I and it. I I know. How great of a person that he was. I, that's my brother. Yeah. Like I said, the passion is going to always be there. Yeah. So, you know, you can't dictate how I grieve my loved yeah. one. You can't dictate how I speak on my loved one. And a lot of time on the internet, that's that's exactly what they feel that they need to do. I'm going to just block you. I'm not going back and forth with y'all. I'm no. not reading your comments. It don't really matter. Yeah. I love my brother like I love my brother. Man, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's hard though. I get to see you. You got the baby, you got the baby, you know what I'm saying? You you got the family, you got the mama. I'm going over that house. I don't care if y'all, if I guess I'm gonna sit out in the parking lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm going over there. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I just like, like, what do you, when people, like I said, they still been driving up every night, you like, there goes somebody else, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just to see where Is where he lived, huh? Yeah, uh, you usually want, sometimes I'll be one run because I'm not very, I don't like to talk that much. Um, but. They just, they really come from a place of love. So yeah. if we've, we've set up like a little kit for them. So really? when they come through, we give them like yeah. a soda. We'll give really? them a poster. We give them some stuff that they could take back with them. Like, I mean, if you love him, we. They're fans. We, yeah, they're fans. Like you've traveled way from where you come from. You could have went anywhere in New Orleans. Yeah. They got millions of places. They got, uh. Madame Laveau, they <laughs> <laughs> Louis Armstrong, you know what I'm saying? But you wanted to roll over here. So all we could do is they got many grand people that come from this place. And I think the love each time each people from outside come in and they ask for him, we love it. So we just give them stuff so they can remember that we appreciate it. We always going to appreciate it. Well, we, uh, my wife, uh, she wanted to give y'all something. We always give to our core uh, people that, 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 mean much to the to the to the show man so she we we definitely wanted to give you something in memory of uh soldier slim okay like, yes we would like we here from boss talk 101 would like to award y'all <laughs> with this award and it says presented to the family of soldier slim in memory of the multi-talented soldier slim the artist the son the brother the father and the father for providing his people with hits such as I'll pay it back and many more. Wow. That's go. hard, man. So, and like I said, that was that's the whole. That's cute. That's my wife. She goes, we just, we, we know already that. That's dope. <laughs> 
we do something to where we show love, man. You know how we are. You've yeah. been ever since. He called me back. Hey, he called me back afterwards. He was like, after he did the interview, he went back and looked at the interviews. He said, man, I rock with you. And I ain't been rock, I've been rocking with him ever since. Yeah, why, how many interviews did you watch? <laughs> I watched a lot. You did? I watched a lot. He going to work you. He going to work you. He going to call you and he bother you. He and say, man. All the time. I, I like, I, he said, I like it, man. And, and I just thank y'all, man, for even putting up with us. You know what I'm saying? It takes y'all to come out and spend time with us. I once got to ask you about the music a little bit, you, because I, I talked to him. But you, like, what, what's going on this first quarter? So first quarter of the year, we going hard, hard, okay? So <laughs> I'm supposed to drop, I was supposed to drop my mixtape in November, but all kind of stuff was going on family-wise. So I'm gonna drop the mixtape in January. Mm -hmm. So that's a brand new quarter of the year, which is gonna be exciting. And I'm gonna put together a couple videos too. We gonna grind it out and my calendar gonna come out too. Wow. So like, I got a lot of work to do. What about the, um, um, so you, you, you gonna drop the music. Mm -hmm. And then, then you gonna basically, um, what else you gonna do on the first quarter? I, I love that mic. You gonna give me another one? Yeah, that's what. You that's what's about to happen. I'm about to do one for the end of the year. I got a version of the project chick that's oh, about yeah? to drop. I'm gonna do one for the end of the year before we get out. When, when I'm gonna get a Christmas uh, 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 album next so year? People keep saying next year. Yeah, you you give me one next the year. The only song that yeah. I'm, I wanna, I wanna, it gotta be like three tracks. You gotta sing on that. No, I'm you gonna rap. I'm gonna do G Wiz. It's Christmas. She can sing. No. You hear how I sound? <laughs> <laughs> so, like I was chewing on rocks over here, like singing. I'm busted. Uh, I'm gonna do a rap version of G Wiz. It's Christmas. Cause I like that. Not a lot of here. What do the lonely do? Hey. What? What? You gotta that do thing. what do the lonely do? Um, and maybe <laughs> <Let's see something. laughs> Santa Baby. Maybe oh, Santa that'll be baby. hard. You gonna be rapping and on that's that thing? It's gonna, it gonna be a three track, just three tracks next year. But the hardest one gonna be to what it. to the I'm lonely do? What do the lonely? Man, do? You gonna rap or sing? Look at <laughs> Y'all have to give me some serious auto tune, but I'm gonna get it done. <laughs> <laughs> so man, so you coming up to Dallas too? Dallas, yeah. First or second quarter, one of them time. I'm it's gonna you, be the first quarter. I'm bringing you up. Yeah, you know it's gonna saying? be the first quarter. Let me, cause my daughter's older now, so you know they. People watch her. That's what's it wasn't up. wasn't watching her when she was That's what he baby. said. He like, she got to get a babysitter for this. I'm like, I got to get her up here. And then it got to be, it can't be longer than three days. People ain't keeping kids longer than three days. <laughs> no, they're days. not. We're going to try to get you in the studio while you're up there. I told you what I was yeah. trying to do. I got to get that. I got to get you and my four other my partners together. All the girls, man. Y'all go hard. Don't do it. And I got some live people that I rock with. So what's up with you in the music? Let's go. Man, the first quarter, I'm going to drop. You know, I'm gonna drop a couple of singles, but I'm focused on this box truck industry right now. Oh, you ain't even messing you with know? it? Yeah, I'm messing with it. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna hire me a manager, hire me another publicist, you know, do my little employing like I do. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just, I got a different focus this year. Man, that's all right. You're gonna be with me. We're gonna rock out. We're gonna yeah, figure we gonna some things out. out. Time. Yeah, we're gonna figure some things yeah, out. Put them to work. Put them to work. Man, so is it, did we get everything? Yes, sir. Man, we love y'all, man. You guys are dope, man. We Y'all my family. For sure. All the time. And if you need me, you pick that phone up and call me. No cap. Like, no cap. you're gonna be like, man, that dude, man, that nigga serious. He really liked that. You know, I'm being real. Like, just call me if you need me. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? And that's what most dudes don't, that, they ain't genuine like that. They I'm really here. They, they really Like, not. if you tell me something or you need to do this, we doing that. See, I, I tell people, if I tell you that, I'm, I'm, I really mean it. But I don't tell a lot of people that. Yeah, don't yeah. call me. Yeah, no, I'm telling y'all. I ain't telling everybody to call me. But the people who God put in my For life, sure. man, like, it's, it's certain people like you and, uh, like, I tell you all the time. I be calling you, too. You do. You and Shardy Lowe's son, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Shardy Lowe Jr., like, it's something that God put in my heart. Like, certain things I just don't play with. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it, it's not only that, though. You got you got Ziggy. You got different people who, like, God put them in my life, man. And y'all special, bro. Like, y'all very special to me. And you, come on, man. You, you, hey, she gave us a hell of an interview over there, wherever we was at, on what side. Oh, I don't know where was we were at. Where was we at? Way in Shell, Shell Man. The trenches of Shell. I'm like, what y'all doing? I don't even know. Like, how did I that end up over there? That was 3D Nazi place. Yeah, that was yeah, there. They were at Nazi Studio. They was way, like, in a back back. At Nazi Studio? Yeah. I thought Nazi Studio was on. She got a couple of spots. She got, another, she got another one, too. Oh. She got one and she had two. But I'm just everywhere trying to make sure I do what I like to feel the culture, man. 
That's why I told you I gotta come by. Or well, you whatever. stay away from that shell man culture because they ain't got no culture in no shell man. <laughs> they ain't got nothing over there. Oh, no, that's see, white that's people. When you don't they, they racist. Yeah. Well, what the hell was I doing over that's there? That's why I asked you what they you was doing the over there. The main street in is Judge Perez. Judge right. Perez was a racist judge who used to send his black men all type of time that they ain't deserve. Wow. See that? We don't know That's nothing. Like, what y'all doing over here? In so the trenches. We got to yeah. stay downtown, huh? At the mm, W or something. Yeah. Go back there and get lit. I like this spot, though, so I'll probably come back here. Because yeah, I, nice. I, I love it. It's laid back. Nobody never even... No, not one person. I don't see nobody come through that door. It's like yeah, it's this hood dead over here. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. But you know the room's not this way. So... No, no, that's right. Yeah. That's right, right. That, you, you're exactly right. So, guys, how can people get a hold of you? I got to ask you that to every episode. Little can, Soldier Slim. Little Soldier Slim. YouTube. I am the Project Barbie, so that's D A P R O J E C T B A R B I E, and that's on Instagram. Um, if you type that in, it should bring me up, but you could just type in Soldier Slim family and not shit pipe <laughs> yeah, up. We coming up that's the easiest way to do it man independent too y'all independent. y'all still yeah, everything still independent doing. that's all still it doing. man hey but man if you want to give us a uh you know some major a major if put. somebody out there want to put some major on the table for us we do have our business together so you can't highlight us about that yeah yeah ain't no ties no strings attached no there you go y'all basically just y'all y'all independent yeah all the time that's hard put your own money into it get your own money out of it that's hard man hey man check it man we down here in New Orleans, man. It's been. A, I'm looking at that camera, girl. Oh, I'm like. I mean, <laughs> just, I mean, like it's been like another that. great segment of Boss Talk One on One, where the bosses talk.